Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Hand of Fate. I'm Nai. I'm Mako. And we are once more, um... Into the deep we go. Let's go with that. That works. So I've been... If it weren't for the fact that I'm me and I do things this way, I've been very tempted to, um... Switch to easy mode to get a very specific card Death. in easy mode. Use the word so often. You are not a but it would be die. kind so of die. make my life too easy. You're still here. Which specific you card are you thinking of getting? Um, the only reason I know this card is in easy mode is either someone made it, commented on it in the comments or I saw it on the forums. Um, the card in question is called, if I remember correctly, Nymphs, Nymphs of the Sweetwood. Um, this card I remember from beta. And the deal with this card is, upon encountering this card, you, um... Think, uh, God, there's so many enemies I have to kill. Upon encountering this card, you lose all of your items and all of your blessings. You lose everything. Uh, you're reverted back, if I remember correctly, to, uh, like, a single axe, and that's all you have anymore. But in return, every, I think it's, I can't remember if it's every five steps, every floor, something like that, every X amount of thing, you get a free something. I forget what it is. It's either a free blessing, a free, uh, amount of money. It may just be random. It's basically the off, the exact opposite of skin rash. Hmm. And it's absolutely broken. Because just in endless mode, every X amount of something, congratulations, here's a free thing. <laughs> making up for everything that you didn't get before. There is no upper limit, so... Yeah. Now keep in mind, the way the game is designed is that um, the cards you unlock in hard mode, medium mode, and easy mode are usable in other modes. So, as far as I, at least as far as I understand. So, if you want to do endless mode really well, first you beat easy. Okay, we're going to go with the lovers. Um, I'm just going to immediately take... I'm going to take... I kind of want to take rings. I was going to say, you're early on that you can go either way, so... Yeah, I'm going to take rings. Um, Guildmaster's ring is pretty terrible. Ring of Defense is okay. That's the one that gives me plus maximum health if I get a... Basically everything but a weapon. Okay. Let's go down. Well, again, ring. Of, it's not. It's, it's not a bad. Not a bad ring because it's just something you start with. Something. It's not a bad ring to get now because you can get more out of it now. Okay. Now we're up here. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Lionel. I can see my house from here. Yeah, I was kind of hoping to get like. Um, Master Ring, Ring of Reward, some of those lines, then there's Ambush. So we're going to have to go all the way back down. Unfortunately, Mr. Lionel did screw us a little bit. Um, yeah, I was, I was hoping uh, I was hoping one of those rings would be better. See, what, like, the way I'm thinking on it is that I shouldn't be going for blessings until I've weeded out all of the crappy blessings. Because otherwise, I'm giving up a ring that will do well for me for a blessing that's probably going to suck. Because most of the blessings we get are the really crappy ones that don't do much. The exception being, um, whatever it's called, well fed or whatever it is. The one that mm. gives me double healing from, uh, from traveling. That's kind of the only one that does me any real good. Maybe arcane knowledge a little bit. I mean, none of them are... That, the thing is, none of the blessings are terrible, terrible, but, um... Actually, I want those on top, because I want the Oracle of Diadem. I was really hoping it would actually just give me the Oracle's Diadem. I would really love to get the Ring of Reward right now. Of course Which you would was, not. You would love to be able to get free stuff. Yes, I would. Look, so that's the one that gives you free item every three moves, isn't yeah. it? It's the one we had last episode. Lose 30% of my food. Ouch. Do you believe the wheel to this way? Again and Moonlit horror. The world in order to experience and... That's that has happened. Tempting, but probably yeah. unwise. Well, I'd, at I at most I'd have to fight the lich plus two skeletons life. thing. Mm. And will not go willingly through the door. 
that See, like if you if you got that right out of the gate, I would say go for it because it's not like you'd lose anything. Well, this but... is only floor two, and I haven't actually gained all that much. Hmm. So, I mean, I was thinking about it. Wouldn't have been bad. Dealer's spite is our curse, so e enemies will uh, like to drop bombs. This particular challenge. Okay, let's go talk to the mage. So remember, technically, I could talk to the uh, I could go to the mage. I could talk to Mr. Lionel and uh, get tons of food off of him. But if this guy has Hag's Wraps and Plunder's Cap, I just want both of those. We're going to go ahead and uh, leave the shop, because I have a feeling we're going to be coming back in this direction. But now I feel certainly better equipped. Wandering Minstrels, hi. Give me a song, and take half my gold. Unfortunately, what they did not give me is a blessing for that, which sucks, but... Better hope to finish this quickly, or hunger will finish it for Okay, we got the tavern. So again, we want a failure and either a success or a huge success. Or we'll just get a huge success right off the bat. Which means I draw a curse, apparently. Why did I draw a curse for Another that? curse on the table. Under a new area of the player takes Oh, that's bad. Two gain cards. Uh, we'll take the 40 gold there. And I'm not sure why you draw a curse. It, it must be one of the other curses I'm I have, sure though I didn't see that. what it was. Dealer's Spite. Whenever we select a huge success chance card, we also must draw a pain card. Um, I miss... I forgot what Healer's Spite actually does. I thought it was one of the other... I, I thought it was Dealer's Revenge, I guess? Which is mm -hmm. the one that says, um... When an enemy dies, they have a chance to drop a bomb. Ah. Uh. Uh, I don't want any of these. I also don't want to buy food from this guy, so we're just gonna move on. So that's unfortunate. Okay, we'll go do Ember Town Hero real quick. Uh, we're gonna fight two of dust. Oh no. Basically, what we want. Um, I forget what they call it in Magic. We want. We want deck thinning. So we want to get rid of stuff in our deck that I don't want. We want it gone, so I'm more likely to grab stuff that I do want. So stuff mm. like um, the armory cards, where I get to choose what I want to keep on top of the deck, those cards are pretty spectacularly valuable. So we're gonna we're, we're gonna want to keep getting those. Two more gain cards, draw an equipment. Oracle's diadem. Thank you very much. As pleases you. And fifty health. Um. Yeah, we'll take the we'll keep the oracles on because I think that is actually slightly better than plunderer's cap in the situation that we're in. But we'll um. Like for example, right now I'm gonna want to switch to plunderer's cap because we're about to go do devil's wager. Depending on what he says, but I think he should just offer me to fight uh, just a bunch of dust. Okay, that's um. I'll do it. We're really early in the game. Um, he's going to give me a number of reward options, and I'd rather... Please tell me that there's no caster. There's a caster. Damn it. Okay, let me go take care of this guy real quick. Best I can, at least. Really hope this guy's dead. There he goes. Okay. We're good. We're good. It's gonna be really hard. Well, yeah, it's gonna be really hard for me to die at this point. Is this guy still alive? Why are you still alive? I don't know how much the devil's actually gonna give me back in health at this point. He could full heal me, he could not. Do I have Blizzard Eater? I, think I, I don't have Blizzard know, Eater. do you? Got full healed, one gain card for 15 max health. And that is why I want to have Plunder's Cap on. Your I choice. Think, I do think, yes, I do have Blizzard Eater. Okay. We'll switch back over to Oracle's Diadem. And we'll have that equipped unless, uh, like, I don't care what my next step is. Or, you know, we'll switch back whenever my next step is going to be something that I know I'm going to want, um... 
to be able to choose. Uh, we're going to draw another curse for Rust Aura, so equipment gain cards have no effect. Uh, I really want to find a traveling healer, but there's none around. Curse treasure right in front of me. Um, it's not going to happen. We have enough trouble with the curses we've got. Let's not yeah. add to them. Devil's Carnival to the left. I'm actually not interested, so we're just going to move on to the shop. Free food gain card. Rat Cleaver, Forbidden Armor, or Ring of Punishment. Um... I think Rat Cleaver is where we're going to go with that. Replace my regular weapon. Uh, we're going to get a free food gain card for three food. And uh, what are we going to see? Sea Voyage up in Battle uh, Battle at Brooktop. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to switch over to the Plunderer's Cap. And we're going to go do Battle at Brooktop. Because I actually want to come back to the shop. Two of food, two of scales. That's fine. No big deal. Dealer's Spite's not that bad a problem because I can get that health back after a while. Stun you guys real quick. Stop it. Stop trying to shoot. Ow. That was damage I shouldn't have taken. Stun this guy quick. I love any ability that gives me the ability to stun. Okay, that was crap. Uh, the uh, guy who got me with the um, oh, with the throwing dagger got me with it because I had slowed him down due to hags wraps, and it took so long for him to actually throw, uh, throw the dagger that I wasn't in position to block him. That no. Yep. Okay, we're good. And anytime I fight lizards, I get food, so that's actually pretty good. We don't have a lot of rings, so the ring curse right now is not a huge deal. We lose about 10 health per floor, um, which I can get back. So I'm not incredibly concerned about the rings at the moment. Uh, we'll go ahead and take 10 max health. Excellent. Switch back over to the DM. Nope, I said no. I said that one. We'll probably get rid of Fate's Folly sooner or later. Okay. So now this is a standard shop. So this guy can contain just about anything. Bashing Ring, Mage of Scorn, Axe. Nothing amazing. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do the Bashing Ring just because it's decent. We're also going to go buy about 10 food. And I'm going to go down, come back up, so I have one more shot at this shop before we leave. Or go to the right and come back, whichever. <laughs> I'm kind of tempted to actually do it again, because we do have a lot of food. Hmm. Ring of Gorging, King's Ring. During combat, we'll deflect any killing blow on the player at the cost of 10% their gold per blow. No effect on zero gold. Get in my inventory. Forge your wealth into a shield, and let it protect you upon your travels. Okay. Well, um... Ring and Gorging's tempting? Plunder's Ring is very tempting. What can I sell to get those? Sell the Fine Blade... Fate's Hall would only get me up to 29, unfortunately. Um, we could get rid of my medium armor, which we'll do. We'll get rid of Fate's Folly, because I don't want it. Okay, so the question is, which ring do I want? The Ring of Engorging or Plunderer's Ring? Or Assassin's Creed. I already have gloves. I'm thinking Plunderer's Ring. Interesting choice. Okay, remember, I will take more damage for more rings uh, going into the next floor. So this is there is a downside to what I just did, but Nothing I think it's um than the smell of salt I think it's a downside that's wind. fairly well worth it, especially because I can get rid of that curse. <laughs> just lost ten max health. Fine. Huh. There's the traveling healer. It takes a very special person to walk Demon traitor to my door. right, high priestess. You need to have lived a life that How many blessings do we have? Death. One. Yet, you also need to have enough will to walk through the door. Enough power left 
to persist. Okay, we're gonna go down for a second, and we're gonna see what's beyond now. the High Priestess. Surprise portal. Uh, we're not gonna be able to get enough money on this floor to actually get rid of the curses. Damn. Yeah. I have to. I part of me sort of wonders, you know. Um, <sighs> sorry, I'm I'm losing my. Part of me wonders how many blessings she, the high priestess actually wants. Like, I'm assuming it's ten. Probably. Can dream though. Can dream. Unfortunately, we would need to be able to get fifty gold in order to actually get rid of that uh, ring curse, and there's no way I can make that on this floor. So we're going to have to leave, and we're going to have to soak um, 40 damage on the next Found floor, unfortunately. More, seeking the heart of it all. So the question is, that that curse could kill me. And we just lost 10 health. Um, I'm I not dead yet. My wager. I'll also make my deal. I'm not dead yet. Questions, and I will provide answers. I'm not. Okay, After we're going to go all, do... Um, that is why you we're going to start with Ratman hunting. Visit. Okay, not bad. That's what I was hoping for. Remember, I do have the rat cleaver. Which is a terrible name. It, it does what it says it does. I want to stun you. Don't do that again. But I mean, you think you got, like, all these fun weapons, you know, the, the Kraken's Claw, the Blade of Infinite Sadness, or things like that. Then you've just got Rat Cleaver. Well, there's also, I mean, come on, the, the same weapon in Fallout New Vegas is the Rat Slayer. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, we took a little bit more damage there than I would have hoped to have taken, but we're still alive. Find nothing of value. Okay, what's below me? Uh, that's the lizard dome. Uh, well, if you are going to do that, don't forget to. Do you still have? The, is this Kraken? Do you have the Kraken claw? This, no. Claw this run. I was going to say I've lost. I've lost track a bit. So we're going to do it. It's going to be very risky. Okay. This is going to be very, very risky. Are there... There are traps in this one. 14, I can't block anything. And that happened. The reason why that happened is I was trying to hit the guy who was trying to hit me in order to keep my combo. I put him back on the ground. Death comes and only one of you, only one of you could survive. Well, it's the same targeting thing that happens every so often. Instead of letting me target the guy who was about to hit me, it targeted the guy on the floor. So, it happens. Wasn't an amazing run, and that ring curse was probably going to kill me anyways, which is why I made that decision. So that way I could maybe get a like health gain card or something out of that. As long as you play and persist, Perhaps a pretty bad luck today. Continue to draw Heaven's blessing. To resolution. Eh. Wilderness armor Very is okay. Close to unraveling the it's not bad. Bandit attack not right off the bat. Succeeded. Remember, there is no reward for this particular uh, card. I think we might get. I, we might get like an odd to uh, an, the odds sort of coin, but. Uh, I don't think I usually see a reward off this one, like, at all. What's so weird about this game is this game's sound is basically in stereo. So, or maybe it's, maybe it's fake stereo, I'm not sure. But, um, every so often I take one ear off my headset and I only listen into one ear. And uh, right now it's the right ear that I have off, and I can't hear anything coming off the right-hand side, so I'm hitting the guy on the ground who's to my right, and there's no sound being made. <laughs> God damn it. Like, Dark Dweller immediately. Of course. A choice. Select your It'd be side. simple otherwise. Yep. It's only two pain cards, but there's five max health right there. 
And then, okay, three gold's not bad. But, Captain Bocanera, what do I want off you, Captain? Food. Thank you. Now, this is my... There's, just, there's some resources in this game that just aren't... They're not a big deal. Um, health, because it goes away quickly. <laughs> um... As long as you play Money is sense, not a big deal because chances are you'll have closer it. To a resolution. Just Very based on close the way the game works, game chances are you're going to have money. And none have succeeded. You'll have it or you won't, but either way... It's very rare that I find that I lose a run because of lack of money. Yeah. Lack of food, sure. Lack of money leading to lack of food, maybe. But chances are I probably could have made a better choice at some point to fix that problem. This armor is still creepy, though. <laughs> like, it still has that really weird tentacle feel to it. Do you ever get kind of odded out when a company is a sponsor of something you're interested in that's completely unrelated? Oh, yeah. That, that 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 has happened before. So what's 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 weirding me out right now is um so uh, is the the Sony and um Taco Bell partnership. A friend of mine was telling me about that earlier today. They're doing some sort of special raffle yeah. draw thing. Well, they're doing two things. One, it's a raffle for a gold PS4. And it's Several one of, those of them actually. Every ten minutes, things yeah. Yeah, but they're 6, also they're also advertising the new Uncharted game, like the the Nathan Drake collection. Yeah, that's that I can't quite. It just it's so. What what does what exactly does Mexican food and American Mexican food, for that matter, have to do with Uncharted? That may be, that may be one of those wrong types of questions things, but still. From what little I played of Uncharted. Um... I don't know, but it doesn't... See, the thing is, I always wanted to mess around with Uncharted, but I didn't like it when I played the first one. I played some of the first ones... I'm a some of the for that. I played some of the first ones, some of the second one. It just failed utterly to click with me. I think Which probably means I'm about to be tarred one, and feathered. This is going to sound weird, especially coming from me, but it felt like the first one was just... It felt too hard at the the first time I played it. I I just didn't find anything any part of it that was sort of significant, really. I mean, it like, was it was interesting. I played the first one up until uh, Drake crashes the plane, and then you all of a sudden you are like hand hand combat against like eight enemies that have guns, and I just kept on dying. And I was like, this is not fun. I am not having fun here. Am I supposed to be having fun? Is this supposed to be as difficult as it is? And See, I look I, I back and like it's like, well, you know, I, I'm the guy who plays hard games now, and so it's a weird, it's a weird thing to, to think of. Well, there's there's lots of different kinds of hard, like you know, there's I will, I hesitate to point to use this game as an example, but it is the one that a lot of people hold up. Dark Souls, it is it is punishingly difficult, but it is fair. Yeah. Like if you die and. God knows you will die. It will be your own damn fault. And also, what's 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 the point of having what brings you to play of, of throwing a I melee you character me. like um, rest, you are silent. against like eight guys that have guns? What what are you trying to tell me about uh, about my character right now? You know, like. Um. Best, you're probably going to have to reroll. I'm gonna get shot. Yeah, that, that's pretty much it, right? I mean, in other games, um, really, like I th that, that same situation in like uh, you, re you remember the game Advent Children? Uh, barely. Like I remember it, but I barely. In like Advent Children, you might be thrown against that, but you have super, like supernatural powers to deal with it. Mm. Like it's like you may be unarmed, but you're at least armed with something. 
Drake didn't seem to be armed with anything in that situation. He hadn't gained any cool abilities. It was just, hi, these guys have guns. Would you like to die today or slightly later on today? Speaking of Advent Zone, that game was damn good. I was just always think, hoping the sequel would actually happen, and it just never happened. Just, just to make sure we're on the same page, that's the one where you play as Vincent, yes? Oh, no, I'm not thinking of... Sorry, not Advent Children, Advent Rising, that one. Yeah, no, Advent Children was... I was uh, pretty yeah, that, sure that that's, was the that's, movie. The, that's the Final Fantasy movie. No, I'm talking about the game Advent Rising. I heard of it, never played it. Oh, that is such a shame. It was such a good game. See, I, it, I always it heard had, that it had wasn't... such promise. I always heard that it wasn't all that great a game, a game and it had a handful of rather nasty bugs. Uh, it did have some nasty bugs. I actually ran into a game ending bug at one point that gave me like an infinite recursion loop. So I was never able to beat the game. I had to go back and redo the game. Um, it was, it had some very, um, some very cool parts to the game that worked extraordinarily well. And then it had a lot of part, and then it had others that didn't. I made but that you were um, too powerful. I would basically you're a human, that next and y apparently humans are the chosen ones, essentially. You know, just basically that old uh, cliche. But mm -hmm. um, humans are the chosen one, and uh, draw a blessing, critical strike, neat. Very um, nice indeed. And you gradually learn your power. So it's, it becomes a third-person shooter with interesting powers that you can cast on command and enemies around you. Things like Magic Missile, Cryo Freeze. It also had vehicles. It, you know, like, done very well. And it was obviously building oh, up dear. into a series that literally just vanished into thin air. The series didn't... went away. Hmm. And I never, I never really learned why, like why this series just said nope. We're, we're just no. I guess anything like the rest of them, the odds are good, like like the rest of the ones that sort of tended to do that. My guess would probably be that it end that it suffered the same fate that uh, others of its ilk did, which would be they got a little too over ambitious for the time. I suppose that's pretty true. Max health pain card. Okay, so that had nothing to do. Oh, I'm sorry. So that had nothing to do with uh, the fact that I had a lot of health. I'm gonna have to go up there. You know that, right? Of course. A horse is a fine. Especially, you know, with the I'm sure no food that I have right now. You do not seem to have the temperament for friends. Now, it was Even it was a lot of fun, animal. and there's one scene that everybody remembers, which is uh, it's it's in the very beginning, and you um. <laughs> You're piloting a space shuttle, and you're, um, okay, I don't know why I didn't dodge that. You're piloting a space shuttle, and you're docking with a, um, space station, and you're just a pilot, you know, you don't know anything's about to happen, and you're docking with a space station, and, um, you actually can, like, the camera's in a fixed point of view, and they did this really well done, um, I think, it, wasn't it, like, 2001 A Space Odyssey, where, uh, they did, like, the, uh, like shuttle docking with the like the uh, wall to the Blue Danube or something, playing in the background. Uh, possibly. I'm not. I'm not memory very good. So that's, that's what this felt like. Hmm. Also, we did just gain a little bit of food. Okay, we gained a little bit of food, and we gained a little bit of max health. Um, we will fight the Ratmen with the hopes that uh, I'll get food out of this. I can also get health out of it because I do have the uh, uh, Skeleton King sword, so. See, I'm, I'm trying to think, there, there's there's something about that game name and it's it's sparking a memory in my head about a story I'd heard. And I'm trying to remember what that what it was. It was something about, a, give me a moment, I'm gonna have to look this up. Because there was something that had happened around its release, specifically, and it, it, it had become, One, it was written by Orson Scott Card. That sounds about right. I think I remember that, um, which was actually one of the cool things about it. And you can and you can actually see like his influence on the game too. Which is also very cool. Ah, uh, here we uh, are. Where did, oh, damn it! You know what I just remembered? Mm -hmm. The curse that I'm under, which says if I use a weapon ability, I lose food. All my food's gone again. 
Whoops. Yeah. yeah, here we are. Um, there was a million dollars offered in a context, contest via Xbox Live for the first player to find a set of hidden symbols spread throughout the levels. Um, but they were forced to cancel the contest when there was issues with Xbox Live's global time syncing, creating an unplaying playing field. But this, again, this is qualified. Well, Wiki says citation needed. I've heard this story before. I think I've something, heard this story before, too. Something about the, a, a, a game, like a contest they were having... Let's see if we can look this up here. Um, okay, we're gonna go to the band and hopefully get something good out of this. Out of this. Oh right, there was there was another one. There was something about the inventory. I don't personally remember any issues with the inventory myself, but um. Well. <sighs> I hang on. I'm trying to trying to look this up. There, there was there was there was there, it was either if it was not Advent Rising, there was a game. There was an issue that um, if it wasn't if Advent Rising, it was something that had a very similar name. There was an issue with the inventory where it was possible to get your inventory in a state where you could not be given an item you needed to finish. That happened a lot. Right approach. Um, Mako, this run seems doomed to fail. Should I do it? Sure, why not? Okay, we're gonna do you it. Never know. Again, a token. You exists. never know. Let's do it. Okay, one lich, four skulls. Okay. We who are about to die salute you. That's pretty much where we're at. If I knew better Latin, I would have actually said that in Latin. But look, I can barely speak English properly. <laughs> That's fine. Trying to force the lich to eat one of these guys. <laughs> Which actually is hopefully gonna. Okay, she killed one. No, I just killed the lich. The lich is dead. The lich is dead. Woo! Okay. Don't know how, but wow. I wailed on her and didn't let go. We're still early on on this one, right? Yes. Her health's probably scaling to their floor somewhere. Uh, I don't think so. The, the game does not typically do that. Well, just. Kill the skeletons and try not to die. That's well. That's what I'm doing. I'm trying to get rid of the uh, ranged skeletons right now because they're the scariest ones. Guys, we're doing it. We're doing it. We're making it happen. Yeah, I realized how bad of an idea it would have been to try to counter that. Come on. Go away! You're dead. And Moonlit Horror is done! Holy moly, well that was an unexpected, uh... <laughs> well, we are that's, getting a token! That's an upset. <laughs> the good kind, but... <laughs> yeah. When the undead, uh, with the undead horrors defeated, you loot their bones and recover your equipment. The dealer draws you two equipment gain cards and the card's token is now yours. Draw four and choose to discard or put them on top. Those are going to go on the bottom. And draw three and do the exact same thing. So I actually did not gain anything out of that, unfortunately. Oh, we get the token. Yep, and I'm alive. From the lich, you recover a magical helm of unknown powers and origin. You take it to be identified at a later date. Finally. Finally. It's better than oh, it is done. Suddenly. That goddamn quest line is Finished. Now we just have to work on the other goddamn quest lines. <laughs> uh, actually, most of them are most of them are done by now. I was gonna say we, we've got to be done with most of them by now, right? Yeah, the majority of these quest lines are actually complete. Um, there's the as I said, there's there's the warlord one. There, you've done warlord, the warlord. You know, hard, um, medium, regular quest lines all need to be completed. I don't even remember what the regular uh, medium quest lines are. We did, we never did them. Yeah, what I was saying, like, I, I have played this game, I just don't remember what they are. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we never did them, so we'll we'll see them eventually. We're going to be overgeared for them by the time we get there. Damn it! We're dead. Oh, the one... The one... Uh, well, well, we're not dead, but... Okay, that's fine. Merchant's favor, um, I'll say yes to this, but I'm not gonna go deal with it until I actually, the black um, deck. oh, god damn it. 
And it went over the one card you needed. It went over the shop. Of course. Thank you, game. I appreciate that. You couldn't... Oh, I should have known it was going to do that, too. I forgot the rules of it. It can't recover a card that is face down. Well. Yeah. Thank you for playing Space Another Quest V. On the plus side, though... Token. For destroying the fake druid lich, you receive this card, gain seven food, and the clairvoyant help. Okay, guys. That's gonna be it for me. When we see you guys next time, we're gonna continue endless and keep getting things done. We'll see you soon.